Hello everyone, welcome back to Higher Mathematics. In this video I try to explain you why 0 over 0 is undefined, so we don't know what the value that it presents. So how can we prove that 0 over 0 is undefined answer? So let's get in closer and closer to this 0. So take a look, if we divide in by 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.1, what we will have? As a result we will have 1. So let's get in closer and closer to this 0. Let's divide in 0 0.001 over the same 0 0.01. We will have as a result, as you can see, we will have 1. And let's make one small step. So as a result we will have 0 0.000001. And let's divide it by the same 0 0.000001. As a result we will have, as you can see, 1. So by using this logic from here, 0 over 0 is equal to 1. As you can see, 1, 1, 1, we're getting closer and closer and closer to the 0, so from here, 0 over 0 is equal to 1. So we're getting closer and closer to 0, to 0, to 0, and we'll have the 1, 1, 1, and this will be equal to 1. But this is correct or not? Take a look. If we get in closer and closer to 0 using that logic. If we have 0 dividing by 0 0.1, we will have, as a result, we will have 0. And let's get in closer and closer to 0. What will have 0? And get, let's get in closer. Let's divide in this 0 by 0 0.001. As a result, we will have 0. Let's get in closer and closer. Let's divide in this 0 by 0 0.000001. As you know, we will have 0. This is a classic case. So we're getting closer and closer to 0 using the same logic as right here. So what we will have in the final result? We will have an interesting case that 0 divided by 0 because we're getting closer and closer and closer and this answer does not change. Equal to 0. And right here using the same logic we're getting closer and closer to 0 which is equal to 1. So we will have two different, different answers. And the final answer will be that 0 over 0 is undefined, because we, do, we have different answer, we have the same approach, but we have the different, different answer. We have 1 right here using this logic, and we have 0 right here using this logic, so we don't know what the values that represent 0, 1, maybe infinity, and this is our, our proof. If you agree with this, if you disagree, maybe you have another method how to prove this. It will be really interesting to read it. Write your proving in comment, write a question in comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.